Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Welcome, Colin Jones. Welcome to the Belder BB Show. I'm in Dallas, but I get to talk to people all across America, and I feel so privileged because I get to bring you guys today, Colin Jones. He's a re- he's retired, but he's a four-time Olympic medalist <laughs> and the first African-American swimmer to hold a world record. Colin, I know you've gotten lots of congratulations on those, but I'd like to add that for me and my audience and just say you make us proud. Thank you so much, Valder. It means a lot to be here. And uh, yeah, uh, it, it's been a long road, but I, I'm so blessed and thankful to be able to be a, a, a still a world record holder and still to hold that that, that title. <laughs> I know it's a long road because you were in 20, uh, 2008, you were in Beijing and we saw you, we watched you, you got some fans. <laughs> Appreciate that. I appreciate well, that. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for being so good at what you do, and it's a basic thing called swimming. And I know you believe that yes. everybody should have that ability to swim. So I would like to talk to you about, you know, you spend so much time in a pool, and most people are unaware of pool safety. Tell us about that. Right. As you said, Valder, I've been in the pool all of my life, uh, but I had humble beginnings. Uh, At the age of five, I almost drowned. Uh, I was at an amusement park. My parents were there. Lifeguards were there. Uh, When you hear most drownings, most people don't expect it to be. They expect horseplay or I'm supposed to be doing something. I I was doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing, and that wasn't the case at all. My dad was handing the inner tube to the next person. But because I hadn't had formal swim lessons, I didn't know what to do, Um, and I had to be resuscitated. They pulled me out of the water. Uh, the first thing out of my mouth was, what was the next ride we're getting on? Because I was a five-year-old at a water park because I was having a good time. But <laughs> I never want to see other parents go through what my parents did as I was 15 year olds and 15 year old, 15 years old. And they were telling me, you know, what happened that day and uh, holding back tears. Um, water safety is so, so important. 20 years later, I'm an Olympian and I've been doing it for 13 years. I cannot impress upon people starting to warm up. Dallas guys are already hot, but we want to make sure that people mm-hmm. understand the importance of learning this one. <laughs> That's right, because in Dallas, each year, it seems to be that we have some drowning in the lakes that surround Dallas. So I, uh, I'm i so glad we had an opportunity to talk to you, because I want this to be the year that there are no drowning statistics in Dallas. And I think you can kind of help us with that. So tell us some the critical safety tips and products that we need to consider, yeah. Colin. There are some amazing products out there, but I really want three things for people to to recognize and and to think about this stuff. One is maintaining the pool. Uh, As you said, I've been in the pool all my life. I can understand how important it is to have a sanitized, balanced, clean pool, Um, not just for winning gold medals, but also just for fun. People are going to be around the water. We've seen in the past uh, I've been doing it for 13 years. I've never seen a child not want to be in the water. I'm like, how it's high outside. How many of you guys want to be in the water? Everyone's hand shoots up. The second thing we want to do, uh, Valder, I have a, a three-year-old at home. We want to secure that pool. My kid, he has definitely caught the bug. He loves the water. If he sees water, he's running straight for it. So for a home pool, definitely. You want to check out Leslie's. You want to make sure that you get the right products to secure the pool. Because as I said, for my situation, all my dad did was turn his head once. Um, we want to make sure that people are going and making sure that it's secure. And of course, the last thing, we want to make sure that people understand the importance of learning to swim. There is no substitute for formal swim lessons. Is there an industry-wide shortage of chlorine that we use it to keep the pool safe? Well, you know, during COVID supply chains, there were issues and the pool industry was was no different. Um, so we really want people to understand that, yes, there was a chlorine uh, tablet shortage, but I'm happy to report that Leslie's does have inventory for the summer. So go to Leslie's. 
take your water, do an in-store test, and they will test, a team member will be a partner with you and test that water to make sure that you your water is at safe levels and clean levels. So make sure you go check out Leslie's, get those chlorine tablets because we want to be safe, comfortable, and have a sanitized clean pool. Well, you're right. We do. I see people pay a lot of attention to their pools during the summer months, but I'm sure. What do they do during the min- winter months, Colin? You know, some products like pool covers, uh, especially, you know, if, at 5 a.m. going into a pool that's cold is not fun. So we want to maintain <laughs> proper pool color, uh, cover to make sure that the heat or the, keeping it cool, depending upon where you are in Dallas, you want to keep it cool. So making sure that you have the right products is, is very, very important. You also want to make sure that there's no debris. You want to make sure that, that the again, like I said, that it's gated off from so that those that have not had formal swim lessons are safer around the water. So there's so many different products that you can go and, and find to make sure that your pool is safe and secure. Make sure you check out Leslie's for that. The segment has been brought to you by Leslie's, but I have a question that's not on script for Cullen. Cullen, uh, this came from my, what is that, Instagram. They want to know mm-hmm. why is there such a myth around black people not being and not being swimmers? Well, to answer the question about uh, the black community and, and swimming, it, it goes back to segregation. There was uh, a, a, a stop of black people being around water. They Black people were thought of as to be dirty. When you look back at 1964, there's an iconic picture right before the civil rights movement of a hotel owner throwing acid in the pool. Okay, just because they felt like, oh, there are black people in the pool. So we have a history of that. There's people that have said that, oh, black people don't swim because their bone density is is heavier. I I am here to tell you, Valder, I I, uh, have four medals and I can't float because muscle doesn't float. That has nothing to do with it. it. Has everything to do with access, getting to the water, and for the black community to prioritize learning to swim. I think as a culture, we believe that we don't do this. And it's important that you have people like Simone Manuel, myself, Leah Neal, I can keep going, um, but people of color that have been at the top levels explaining why, yes, we do do this. We need to change this perception because uh, black Americans are drowning five times more likely or five times more likely to drown than any other race. So we need to change this perception. And it all starts with exposure and learning this one. Colin, I want to thank you for taking that question for me. And you guys know, Absolutely. once again, I told you he's retired, but he's a four-time Olympic medalist and he's not <laughs> by the Bowser BB show. Colin, thank you so very much. I think this will make a lot of people summer thank safe. You. They'll listen to you. Thank, thank you, you for having me. I'm Bowser BB. I host the Bowser BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My foam pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.